So we have this question that says that by trying to stay healthy, John decides to track how much sleep he gets in a day. He was able to do this via an app. So below is the number of hours of sleep John gets for the next few days. So we're supposed to use this data set to find the first quarter, the seventh decile, the eightieth percentile. So the first step is for us to actually arrange our data set in the ascending order. And by ascending order, it means we are from the lowest down to the highest. So let's arrange our data set in ascending order. And this is what our distribution looks like in the ascending order. So the first question, so we should get the first quarter. So the first step is for us to count the number of data set that we have. And we can see that we have 15 number of uh, variables in our data set. So that means our n is actually equals to 15. So this is definitely uh, an odd number of variables in our data set so that means we are going to be adding plus one to the formula we are using to get either the first quarter or the seventh decile or the 80th percentile so the formula for the first quarter q1 is actually going to be equals to uh, so we have one over four into bracket n plus one and that's going to be equals to one over four into brackets we have a 15 plus one that is equals to one over four times 16 which is equals to 4 so that means our q1 is actually uh in the fourth position so our q1 is in the fourth position so let's come to count on our data set so we have a uh, 5 6 6 6 so that means uh, our q1 is actually equals to 6 so this is our q1 right here so this is our q1 and that means from this point of 5 down to this point this is the first uh 25 percent this is the first quarter so that simply implies that if we were to uh divide our distribution into four parts so uh between uh five and six from five down to six is going to represent the first quarter which is the first 25 percent so let's solve the second question it says we should get the seventh this out so the formula for the seventh this out so that is a uh, d7 is actually going to be equals to seven divided by ten uh times you know we have a uh, n plus one so that means that uh, this 7 is going to be equal to 7 over 10 times uh, 16. So when we do the math, uh, 7 times 16, that actually gives us 112 divided by 10. And this actually gives us uh, 11.2, which is approximately equals to 11. So that simply implies that our 7th decile is located in the 11th position. So let's just rub this off. Okay. So uh our 11th position data is going to be so this is a uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 that's 10 so that means our seventh this uh, which is a uh, d7 is going to be equal to 10. so that simply implies that if we divide our distribution into uh this house into 10 equal parts the seventh this cell is going to be at 10. so the next question uh which is the last question is for us to get the 80th percentile so the p80 is actually going to be equal to 80 divided by 100 uh times into bracket n plus one so we have this to be 80 divided by 100 times 16 and that is going to be equals to 0 0.8 times 16 and when we do the math and that is going to give us a uh, 12.8 approximately equals to the 13th position so that simply implies that our 80th percentile is in the 18th uh, the 13th position rather so let's uh erase this so the 13th position data is going to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so this is the 80th percentile so uh, this is a p80 so that means uh, if we're to divide our distribution into 100 equal parts so this is going to be the 80 percent and this point is going to be the point of the 80th percentile 11 is going to be the point that represents the 80th percentile that is the first 80 percent so that means uh our 80th percentile p80 is actually equals to 11 and let's just write this our seventh decile d7 is actually equals to 10. so this is how we get the quartile the decile and the percentile of an ungrouped data if you learned something new in this video i would really appreciate if you can like this video and also subscribe to this youtube channel and turn on your notifications to get notified if i release new video which i do at least twice a week Thanks for making it to the end of this video and we'll see in the next one. Bye for now.